life depends not only on income but also on social opportunities. No substantial famine has ever occurred in any independent and democratic country with a relatively free press. A defeated argument that refuses to be obliterated and remain very alive. Imparting education not only enlightens the receiver but also broadens the giver, the teachers, the parents and friends. No famine has ever taken place in the history of the world in a functioning democracy. Sometimes the lack of substantive freedom relates directly to economic poverty. While we cannot live without history, we need not live within it either. Gender inequality is not one problem, it's a collection of problems. Economic growth without investment in human development is unsustainable and unethical. I believe that virtually all the problems in the world come from inequality of one kind or another. Poverty is the deprivation of opportunity. Empowering women is key to building a future we want. to be interested in inequality. The issue of inequality and that of poverty are not separable. The success of a society is to be evaluated primarily by the freedom that the members of the society enjoy. Human ordeals thrive on ignorance. To understand a problem with clarity is already halfway towards solving it. I believe that virtually all the problems in the world come from inequality of one kind or another. Anything that increases the voice of young women tends, therefore, to reduce the fertility rate. Progress is more plausibly judged by the reduction of deprivation than by the further enrichment of the opulent. The identity of an individual is essentially a function of her choices rather than the discovery of an immutable attribute. The lack of economic freedom could be a very major reason for loss of liberty, liberty of life.